I bet you never cared where the tomato came from. Well, that's too bad because I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> now, most of us think the tomato is from Italy because it's nearly the focal point of that entire country's cuisine. But it ain't. It's actually from the Americas. Now, I know you're thinking that's a bunch of hooey, but really, the tomato did originate in Peru. The native tribes took tomatoes from South America up through modern-day Panama and up into Central America and Mexico. The Aztecs cultivated what they called the tamat, which translated literally as the swollen fruit. Then, in the early 1500s, the bad guys came. Cortez and his conquistadores murdered Montezuma and the Aztecs in Mexico. It wasn't very nice of them. But one good thing did happen. Cortez found tomatoes growing in Montezuma's garden and took the tomato seeds back to Spain. The tomato is a member of the nightshade family, so the Spaniards initially thought tomatoes were poisonous. But a few daring souls discovered their deliciousness and lived to tell about it. The tomato ventured through the south of France and Italy in the late 1500s. The Italians called it the pomodoro, or the golden apple, while the French thought it was an aphrodisiac and called it the apple of love. It wasn't until the 18th century that the tomato was truly embraced by chefs and revolutionized the cuisines that we've grown to adore. And if Cortez hadn't brought back those tomato seeds, we might just now be figuring out what to do with the tomato. <laughs>